What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Road to Ryan video. And today, people, today, I would like to start off with a formal apology. You see, last video, we had a Joker going for gold. And I mistakenly said it was the final launcher. I was wrong. We have one more. We have the Pila. It'll be super easy with shipment 24-7, but not as easy as the Joker. The Joker is such a big radius on its explosion that you could just shoot it and walk away, and you would probably pick up a double kill. So the Pila is going to be a tad bit harder. Here's the, the camo and sticker setup we have for it, I guess, because that's all we can do. We can't even put a weapon charm on it. There's no build to look at. This is what we're going to do. We're going to use this gun. We're going to go into shipment 24-7. We need two double kills. Or no, five double kills. That's it. Basically, two kills without dying five times. And that'll be for our final gold launcher. And then we can start going for plat. So I'll see you guys in game. Double kill. Another kill. Throwing trophy systems. There's one, two, another one, there's another one. I think I need one more double kill. Got it. You tried not letting me get it, but I got it. Alright, now that we have our two kills without dying five times, we can go check this out in the private match and see how beautiful it looks. Gold! Alright, here's the gold Pila in its golden glory. Like I said before, and in the Joker video, I think this is either the third or the fourth hardest launcher to do. Not that any of them are hard. They're all relatively easy, especially shipment 24-7. But this one, it, it doesn't have the explosion radius of the Joker. It doesn't have the speed of the RPG. It's, I mean, it is what it is. It just depends on whether or not you're more comfortable with the hit scan Strella. That's all it comes down to. I'd put these at either third or fourth hardest, depending on which one you like better. But none of them whatsoever are hard. 
it's got a nice gorgeous big inspect you get a good view of the side a good view of the top this is a lock-on launcher, but you don't have to lock on, as you just saw there. I know with the Joker, you still have to lock on before you fire it. This one just gives you the option to lock on. It's got a nice reload speed. I have perks turned off right now, so you don't even get to see the uh, uh, fast hands reload speed with it. But it's got a nice reload speed. Overall, it's a, it's a good launcher. If you need to shoot out of the sky, uh, like UAVs, counter UAVs, anything like that, it's probably the launcher you're going to use. Now that we have this in gold, we can officially go for platinum launchers, so that won't be too bad. I believe for platinum launchers, you have to break uh, kill streaks. Equipment doesn't count, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. But like munitions boxes, uh, deployable covers, I don't think those count for platinum. Uh, they may have changed that, but as far as I know, in season one and in preseason, they did not count. And with all that being said, if you like what you saw here, let me know down below in the comment section. Also, let me know if you even have any of your launchers leveled up. I have a feeling with how good the pistols are and, you know, the knife for ranked or for search that most people don't really have their launchers leveled up, like in past CODs. Uh, especially if you could skip them with the Season 1 weapons. So I want to know if you have your launchers even leveled up enough to go for their camo challenge or go for gold. Down in the description, you will find all our social links, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, all the good stuff where you can keep up with me and with Call of Duty. On screen now, you'll find our official COD group, Sharpshooters. Feel free to join and find someone to play games with anytime. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, and I'll see you all next time.